exactly. Sure. Uh, it's okay. okay. We don't have right. time. We got enough stuff going got on today. Hey, anyway, I think we're live. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. I think we're live. Right. It hasn't showed up yet. So okay. we've got Alex and John on, and uh, obviously things are a little there we go. different, guys. You don't see the bar. Um, yep. Well, this is our test run for next week. Uh, so things are going to look a little different. They're going to run a little bit different, but you can't, no, 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 no. can't really see what things look like behind <laughs> all of this, but we wanted to make sure we had our technical set up for okay, next week go. at the expo. So some of us might be running in and out of the frame to play with the TV in the background, different Probably messing you know. things up. Um, nah, there's <laughs> Hey, what's Hogan. Up? What's up, buddy? Hey, Hello. good morning, Hogan. Um, so anyway, that's why things look a little different. Bear with us. Don't be shy. And <laughs> speak up if you guys have suggestions or see something that maybe we can improve on before next week. Let us know about the mic, the audio, right. um, you know, anything you're seeing glaring here. But basically, this is kind of what we're doing for our expo, and we're trying to run through all the – just warming up, making sure we have everything and we can think of everything. So hopefully this is going to work out. So work when we out. get there, we're not totally screwed. Right. Well, it <laughs> would be different there, obviously, and, and a few things. But um, this is kind of the general – gist of it I guess. we'll have some of us we only do two of us three of us an ambassador here and there right. i think scott and uh rob may be joining us shortly so we can check out the google hangout That'd be great. Of it too, yep. so. okay all right so good there deal and then uh you know who knows how how many people we're going to try not to overload the, the frame at the expo so there's probably no more than four at, at a time but yep. sure tell x will get some mm. screen time and, and a couple of people so, yeah. that uh, warm scott is lined up with but um before we get too far into this Cheers, brothers. Morning. Happy Thursday. This Happy Thursday. Great. Hey. It's been a long week already. I need a, I need a warm treat. Yeah, Why uh, are we drinking more of this? No kidding. So this is good stuff. Let's, man, let's, let's, before we get wrapped up in uh, this whole test run, there, man, let's talk about the whiskey, man. Let's yeah. So, you know, they, they named, the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society named this a warm treat. And when you when you take a sip, it is. It's like. It's a warm treat. It's, it's like toast and cinnamon and morning. It's like a breakfast scotch. Oh, he says your bar is a green screen production. <laughs> Man, yes, I spent a lot of time building that green oh screen. Oh my gosh! <laughs> um, so yeah, I hope everybody had a chance to watch the uh, the review of this uh, SNWS bottle. You know, I didn't have a chance to pull up the comments. Maybe I should do it on my phone to see what anybody and everybody said about it. I didn't. Did you guys look and see if anybody's had any comments? We've had a few comments. I'll pull it up um, here while we're talking. This one, uh, this one was the treat that it, one of the two bottles that Drew and I brought home from Scotland. So you know we've been sitting on it for a while, um, and now yeah. it's and now it's open. Like four months, of you guys said, "Oh, I can't wait to open it." I know, right? it's so good, <laughs> it's so good. And we're like, Sean, Andrew, you, you guys aren't going to believe this bottle. Gonna... Too bad we can't open it today. <laughs> and, it's set for and now it's open, months. and it'll be gone in a week. Damn right. It will. Well, we're poor and healthy. I'm not going to be stingy. I mean, that's why we bought it. It's um, 58 percent. So. It does um, not taste anything like that. It so, does not uh, burn. I mean, it's warm, but it's not yeah, like it's not over the top. I thought this was a pretty good comment. Dram Dude says, You guys certainly made that sound delicious. I have an independent bottling of Ben Nevis. Ben uh, ben, yeah. 12 year. <laughs> I have seen it. Happen. Hang on a second. I please. haven't cracked it yet. It looks like I'll, that will be changing soon. Mm. All right, Rob. No worries, dude. Um, we see your comment. If something came up, take care of business. We're going to do a test run with. At Scott, least Scott. So we'll we're gonna catch up with you and do a test run uh, again. So it's no big deal. By the here. way, catch out his video. It's pretty yes, cool. It's guys, awesome. Yeah. Need to go. Everybody got a nice shirt. Need to go check out the the latest whiskey in the six video. It's uh. He's a disciple of us. Craig Yeah. Is that what it's it is? Seventeen, I think. Seventeen. Awesome. Um, good vid, man. It was good chatting with you yesterday too, by the way. So anyway, back to your comments. Somebody said that they want they've got a Rennes, a Ben Rennes that they're gonna crack. Graham open. dude. Yeah. He's gonna crack. Uh, independent open, bottler though. So yeah. Who bottled it? Does he say who bottled it? No, he does not say that. Oh, that's interesting. Maybe he's on tonight. Hey, Leanne, I see you're out there at the camp, and that was an awesome picture. That was a great picture. I mean, we haven't even done our what you're drinking tonight picture, but I think you might have won already. I mean, yeah. That was perfect, because the flames are coming up. That. The that's a really good picture. I was just thinking yeah. earlier today, it's a good day for a cigar and hanging out. It's a good day to be sitting around that fire down there at that camp. I wish I was there. It's a good there. day not to go to work. Yeah. I'll tell you that. So um, Mark Roy did ask a question on one of our other videos asking about the glasses. He's never seen these type of glasses before. And these are the, um, the Taylor. Taylor Milestone. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And they're, so they're basically the <clears throat> a fat version of the Glen Karen glasses. But we really like them. We're, we're enjoying them. Uh, our Patreon got it for us. Bob. Right? Bob Hammond, yeah. Yep. Yep. A while back. And I think it's a great gift. Love these. 
warm and delicious. Yeah, I tried to answer one of the throat. comments uh, and make sure that uh, our viewers know that they can go over to that website and put an email address in and get a 20% discount coupon. Um, I mean, if you're interested in the glasses, you might as well get them at a cheaper price, right? Right. Um, yep. We don't get anything out of that. <laughs> we got four free glasses, but they weren't even from the company. These were gifts. Yeah, these were gifts. Yeah. From, uh, Bob Heyman. Robert Heyman. Robert Heyman. Okay. okay, that's what I thought. Our patrons, yep. Yep. Which and is great. Yeah, it is. I we, enjoy them. We love, well, I, I like them because you can pour it. Well, you know what? <laughs> this is a good segue to give um, our friend Aquavita a good plug. Uh, he just put out a new video today that I watched, thoroughly enjoyed it, and it was about basically 10 different things that he suggested to, to better enjoy your whiskey. <clears throat> um, and one of which was to try a different glass. You know, obviously everybody's very familiar with the Glen Cairns and, and yeah. for very good reason. It's but he said every now and again, it doesn't hurt to pour it into a regular rocks glass or something. Do some compare it. It's yeah. different. So try it. And these are a little bit different because there's a bigger, you know, yeah. opening. But I, I think I can get a better nose on the whiskey when these because I can right. really get my face down in it. And I like that. <laughs> Well, I think the alcohol comes out faster too. Put an, so. put, put an ankle in it. Put an ankle in it. Air, airs out a little bit alcohol. quicker, especially when you're drinking these cat strength whiskeys. You know, you stick yeah. your nose in there, you might knock yourself out. Right? <laughs> That's <laughs> what I'm going for. <laughs> Slow my whiskey drinking down a little bit. Slow my drink. Yeah, right. Uh, so, uh, what's going on in the wild world of our our, our subscribers? Um, obviously, you guys know that we're getting pretty excited about the expo, but hopefully, one week from tomorrow, plan on on uh, yep. on logging in. It's going to be a big cool deal. <clears throat> that we got the TV. I can actually read it a little bit easier. Actually, there's there. a few. Uh, hey, Cato. A few people out there that have seen the behind the scenes list of everything that's going to be in there. Oh, oh yeah, that's so, a pretty good list. You know what? We it's, it's we probably a, I, I wanted to get that put up tonight. Can we publish that? Mm -mm. Well, we could publish it probably, but I mean not through this. Not yeah, tonight. we don't have OBX um, tonight. We really wanted to try to get you guys a, a heads up list on the uh, the whiskeys that are going to be at the expo, just to get some of your input. I mean, who knows? Maybe somebody out there sees something some that they off. really want to, uh, to to explore, and we can do our best to make sure we hit that table. I mean, I think there's a few that I'm interested in. Have you taken a, an extensive look at it? Yeah, there's a lot of uh, kill them, lots of killing in, aren't there? Every time I go back, I see like four other whiskeys that I haven't tried, and I'm like, oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, so this one table is a uh, Scotch and Irish whiskey. They have two Tamdews, the 10-year on the batch strength, batch two, or batch strength number two. That's the one we have. They've it? got three Kilhomans, the Muckier Bay, the Sanag Single, and the 100% Isla, which is well, something we haven't tried. Got a couple of Tipperary Irish whiskeys, um, a Chapter 7 19-year Highland. That sounds interesting. All right. And then an exclusive malt fine table I like cast strength. So there's a 20 year old signatory uh, that uh, I think looks pretty good. <laughs> so Tom, I know you asked earlier, did I stop at Chicago? I stopped at Benny's in Chicago. It was a new one up in Lincolnshire. I went to so they had a lot of selection, but nothing crazy good. Um, I've heard this, and, and Mike has told me a few different Benny's up there that have some really nice selections. I'd like to hit some of those. So if there's any ever a bottle, I'll let you know. I appreciate that. So uh, on that note, though, so is. is Various bennies you, they carry different bottles. Is that what I understand? I think it's just it's more bigger, selections, bigger, bigger, bigger ones, bigger okay. stores. Bigger stores have a little more selection. Yeah. Well, and they're all going to cater to their market. Yeah. Yeah. So if you got a bigger bourbon market and a smaller scotch market, you're going to carry less scotch. Makes sense. But it. uh, it's got to be the same as Indiana. I mean, in Indiana, there's only there's a finite list. These are the whiskeys you can get. Now, whether a liquor store chooses to carry a particular whiskey or not is at least that's the way it was expressed to us from a, a few liquor store owners, and and I'm not. Oh, we can't get that. Yeah, we can't get that. I mean, some of that's true. It depends on the allocation, right? But it also depends on the market. I mean, if, for instance, the wine market, if you've got a distributor that's good at selling small batch, <laughs> high end wines, they can get stuff that other people can't. <clears throat> so it just depends on your market. Oh, Bob says he's got a friend that's shipping him some tomato from Scotland. Been there. <laughs> yes, sir. Can't wait to go back. It's about that warehouse. Kato, your glass sounds great. Yeah, Kato. <laughs> Why do you, every time he posts a glass, it sounds great, right? That's what I'm talking about. go to his bar and do some reviews. It's a good thing he never All gives us his address. <laughs> Why don't you give us your address so we can ship you one of these little wine, whiskey, you know, bottle hangers? And, uh, <laughs> 
and you can ship us back. We'll we'll put we'll include some empty bottles in there. Too. No, we'll deliver it in person. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll sign it. We'll sign a shirt for you over there. Yeah. You know who we probably maybe one of your shirts. Let's do his telex since he's flying out. Uh, we should give it to him for sure. Yeah, we definitely need it. All right. We got to get a hold of him and figure out what can, his plans uh, are. You can take a look and don't go spend all, all your money before out? you get out here because they've got uh, they do some deals that night of the expo. Yeah, they do. It's a big sale. So. Yeah, John, and that's crazy. You should have some new bottle hangers in their mail. They went out go. Saturday, awesome. so there thanks for doing that. Yep. <laughs> and it was and it was funny because I when when I when I when I send those things out, I tend to um, put attention an attention to on the envelope of their screen name. So I had to put attention John Devoe and his girlfriend because. <laughs> She's a, <laughs> clearly an avid watcher as well, and half and she bought half his scotch, so she probably should get that. That's gonna earn some points, I would think. Yeah. there's something mm -hmm. for you, Drew. What's that? Uh, Tom is saying that he's got a pretty good relationship with a particular Benny's. Sounds good, Tom. I'll let you know. Appreciate um, that, dude. I go up there quite often. I'll be up there in November for sure. I know that. Park and South Lee. Hmm. Okay. Heck yeah. That's Hoagie's got some good stuff going on too. Springbank 14 Bourbonwood cast strength. Mm, that sounds it's good. Time to get the, the you know what I'm curious <laughs> of. So anybody over on the other side of the pond is is the Ben Rick Solstice 17 still available over there? Oh man, it's almost. Worse. I would love if I would love if you could I would find, love to find out because it's not here, or at no. least here in our local market. I, I mean, does anybody here in this basement? In this basement, in this particular market, <laughs> this market right here, right now. Absolutely. There was a high demand for that bottle, and it didn't last. It didn't last. <laughs> we still have the box, kind of praying for I reincarnation. Once in a while. You know what I mean. <laughs> So tell this us, one he's in by himself. Tell us, we, we need to talk about plans. Uh, I'm reading your comments here, and, and we definitely need to take it offline and make sure that we know when you're coming in, what you're coming, you know, all the details and stuff. And absolutely, we can figure something out. Hey, you know what? We could use Discord for that. He's on Discord. He's yeah. on Discord. Yeah. There you go. Well, there's a plug for Discord. That's right. That's why I segued <laughs> it for. <laughs> and, and just so you know, Telex, I don't ignore you when they're on. No, there's a there's like a going to New Jersey. There's a, there's a problem Bobby's with my connection, so I can't. What? Shelf I gotta be honest, Bob. There's really no desire to go to New Jersey, but now there is. <laughs> it's unopened. Uh, to be honest, I'll probably be coming to New Jersey next year to go see my cousin. We'll be living so, on a prayer uh, in New Jersey. <laughs> Kato thinks the solstice is gone. Not, not a Bob's bar. Anyway. It's not. Mm -hmm. That's sad. That's yeah, that is sad. I like that one. And I don't know what's gonna happen. You know, I mean, they they went through a. An acquisition in the last year, so I don't know what Ben Ray, you know, uh, what the future holds for him. So. We're gonna, we're gonna find out eventually. Yeah, yeah. one way or another. Well, we I hope you guys so liked. Uh, cruise, interesting. Liked our video we just published. We had a lot of fun with that one, guys. Um, yeah, and we, you know, Mr. I, Editor. I liked, I liked the beginning of that one. That is just kind of putting on some. Ooh. I've been saving some of those videos. We have another one too. We haven't done yet with. Um, whiskey experience we haven't posted that one yet oh, we have not put that out yet no. we need to get that out that was so much fun yeah. uh, why don't you work on that you remember how good that bottle was <laughs> no <laughs> yeah that wasn't a bottle that was the whole that it was, was, really it was a, experience it was an experience it so if you've never awesome. been to scotland and borough uh the whiskey experience is there it's you know it's it's definitely uh catered towards the novice drinkers getting into whiskey but um once you get in there and you get past that piece of it, i mean the the the, the production is great. I mean, it's, right. like, it's like a Disney ride. I mean, you go through, it's kind of silly. But once you get into the, the, the movie room, right, and they give you those scratch and sniffs, and they have a drone flying over different cool. each region, and like, scratch your Isla card now. Like, I'll be oh, my God, that sounds like that smells like Isla. Right? <laughs> that's, that's, that's great. Right. So they did a good job that's there. And stuff. then, of course, they take you into the tasting room, and you, you get to select your, your scotch. And then all of a sudden, they're like, by the way, whoa, here's the vault. And then you and, go through, and you're like, God. You hear angels singing and it's trumpets crazy. sounding, and I mean, it's like you really feel like you're walking into the gates. You know, the oh, gate. Tom R, thank you, buddy. What's up? Heck yeah! Oh, We've never had that happen before. First Damn. time. It's nice. That's a that. cheers, brother. Will house. house. <laughs> thank you for that donation, well, sir. Appreciate thank you. it. We need to get up to Benny's to spend it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I say we do. No, oh, be sure it's all awesome. glass. It's I'm a warm treat, this. man. It is. Mm. It is. It is like Halloween and fall mixed in a glass. And it's just perfect. I'm going to agree with Andrew. It's for as hot as it should be. It is not at all. No. It's not. Fifty-eight percent. Fifty-eight percent. And and you can Smooth. drink it. 
Let me smell. I'll tell you what, <laughs> glass man. You know, I got glasses. We're, we're working on trying to get the um, Scotch Malt Whiskey Society folks on a show uh, here, hopefully in the in the very near future. Trying. We do have one other bottle that we're going to review. We do. Um, hopefully, very soon. Which. Um, I, I honestly think it's <laughs> this scored well. I think the next one it's going to score just as well. I think it might. I think it will probably top I, it. I have, it, it probably will. But what I'm saying is, so <laughs> we've got a lot to, that we want to show you guys about the, the, the society. And I don't know if any of our subscribers, if anybody out there watching, is is a society member. But you know, there's a lot we can talk about when it comes to the society and the Americas, anyway. And and. You know, I haven't purchased a bottle yet. I know Scott and the, the Test Dummies are members now, and I believe Bart just purchased a couple bottles. So I'm very curious to talk to him about his experience in buying them because um, they're not really cheap. No, uh, not but at all. But at the same token, mm -hmm. there's a lot you need to well, take into consideration. So you're double not, taxed, you're getting transportation costs. I mean, there's it's and not going to be cheap. And you whiskey, and, and there's a lot of variables in it. So, But I can tell you, Okay. Talking to um, Akavite Roy over in Scotland about mm -hmm. how to really approach buying bottles to the society. <laughs> Is it on his um, <laughs> there's some really good tips. So if anybody's interested in really diving into that topic a little more, you know, speak up and, and we can either take it offline or maybe That's devote some email. more time to it. But um, I mean, I, I guess it would be comparable to going to Japan to buy a bourbon. You know what I mean? It's going to be cheaper here than it is over there. Yeah, yeah that's a, probably so, a good point. You know, I mean, that's part of it, even yeah. though it's disappointing when you go over to Scotland and you buy your bottle, even though it's a little smaller bottle, uh, you're just going to pay less for it. <laughs> you don't need to t tell the whole world we're accomplices. Now we can't even deny plausibility. What, what are you talking about? I'm not sure. He's talking about, I don't, I don't, we didn't get a picture of his girlfriend. Yeah. There's no, it didn't, it didn't appear in our email. What are you about? talking about? Unless he mailed it in, it's in not that picture I put snail on my mail. Facebook, is it? <laughs> Let's put it in snail mail, maybe. <laughs> oh, geez, that's I, I got to say, Mark, I'm I'm a little disappointed when Tom did that. You know, I had the I've had that OBS set up for weeks now, waiting for somebody to finally do this. And normally, when the when you get a uh, oh, super chat like I that know, done, right. I have a thing that comes on with um, like balloons and streamers, and <laughs> stuff, scotch and stuff, and we we're gonna make a big deal out of it. I'm like the one night we don't do it because we're doing this. <laughs> we'll do the test run, run. And Tom throws it's a all right. curveball. It. It's all right. We um, just appreciate it. that. Was amazing. Yeah, thank so, you so very awesome. much, man. Um, really, really appreciate it. Good stuff. Yeah. So right. Scotch Malt Whiskey Society. We got one more bottle. We're gonna do it. We're not gonna tell you what it is. We're not gonna give you the number or anything, other than the fact that. Uh, <laughs> it, it was good. It's wheelhouse good, and I can remember drinking. We 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 had a glass of it over in, in the vaults location, and I remember enjoying that glass with Roy and Drew. And I got up and started walking around the, the room, and I saw they had a bottle on like a, at the end of a, a table by a couch, and I just grabbed it. <laughs> I brought it over, and I said, "Drew, I think you're bringing this one home." <laughs> He's like, I think I am too. Yeah, so he bought. It was. It didn't take much convincing. <laughs> Wow, uh -huh. you're easy, man. I, I was. It's it was good. delicious. It's delicious. That's some Jedi mind trick stuff right there. Am right. <laughs> this is you will take his bottle. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Beat me to it. It's that easy. Oh, so, uh, on a side note, Telex, let me know how the audio is here at the mic. Uh, we've got this set up. Uh, hopefully, during our our test, we're gonna have, like I said, we're probably gonna have it with both sides of the barrel here. We're gonna have ambassadors or other guests joining us. Yeah. So the the mic is supposed to be both sides. So hopefully the the quality is good. So if you wouldn't mind, let me know. It'd be great. Mm -hmm. Nineteen viewers right now. Hey, there you go. Right. Well, hopefully we'll so, up that next week. Yeah, a lot of stuff going on. What uh, we you know we never did you know ask you guys to to force you what what you're drinking pictures or not, but. Um, we know Leanne, if you guys go over to our Facebook, Leanne posted what she's drinking, and, and she shouted out a ton out there. So, so you guys need Facebook? to go check that out. Um, kind of wish we were all sitting down there in their camp in Louisiana on that bonfire. That bonfire looked amazing. I know. Um, we we may have show, to uh, bring a bottle, Leanne. We wouldn't just show up and drink all no, your no, scotch. No, no. We'd probably but... bring more than one. <laughs> we, could, we could provide <laughs> like monkey what. shoulder or Johnny Normally, Black. <laughs> normally when we go on a fishing trip, it's more of a drinking trip, and uh, we come prepared. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I've kind of been called on as not being able to catch fish. Thanks. <laughs> so, yeah, I but you can drink scotch, brother. I can drink scotch. <laughs> this is uh, apparently this looks like R two D two. It's pretty good. That's a good comment. Do we? Do we? <laughs> <dress> <laughs> I tell you what, the bass. It kind of does with the bass, really right? Heavy man. 
man. I mean, it's yeah. heavy. You're not moving this thing. So it's a shock cool. absorber too, supposedly. So well, we might eat, we, we, we might actually start to put this on the bar instead of hanging like we normally do because it might have, actually have better no, quality behind us in front of us. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious to go back and watch this after the fact. Uh, I'm a little bit worried about next week when it comes to uh, a lot of background noise. I'm, I'm you know, this for a black dynamite boom mic kind of effect going on. <laughs> right, how are we gonna do this all the <laughs> you, would, you want to go? <laughs> right. Oh, get out of here, Ben. Mike. All right, turn around, Sean. Oh, are we doing this? Yeah. Okay. We're going to look foolish. That's all right. Say cheese. Cheese. <laughs> all right. That's, really that's what we're drinking. We just did our what you're drinking post. Um, Andrew is not the best selfie arm. No, nah, he's, he's not. He's pretty weak selfie arm. He does a lot, yeah, of, and, and, hold on. Does a lot of stuff good, but that's not. You got to retake that because um, Sean looks like he's drunk. <laughs> what's wrong what's, with Sean looking what's, drunk? And what's not like you've never seen that. that. Right. <laughs> all right. Say cheese, guy, cheese. Cheese, guys. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, Anyhow. Excuse us. Well, Let I me see if I can get caught up on what's going on in the wide world here. It's all right. Hey, Mike is really good. Cool. Thank Mike, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Test dummies here. There's Scott Hop says he's trying to love scotch as much as we do. Well, we're working on it, Tom. We'll get you there, bud. <laughs> give, just give us a little more time. <laughs> um. <laughs> It, it takes a little time, man. I, I, I think it's not something hey, you necessarily Scott, come to uh, right away. You know yeah. what I mean? You got to kind of find your, your areas yeah. that you like, and, and uh, then you just kind of work out from there. You know, it's funny when you talk about the areas. So before we have mentioned all roads lead to Isla, right? And I, I'm Eventually. not saying I don't believe that. I, I still do believe that. But what's funny is, is you start off in one of these other regions, Space High, Highland, whatever, and you eventually make your way over to that island, right? You're on that isla and you're you're on the isla high. You just can't get enough of it. You just that's all you want to drink. But then when you do wander back into the other that's regions, the, there's a different appreciation, I think. You start that's picking out true. different and so then all of a sudden you start wandering back into them. You never lose the love for the isla, but you start having a different appreciation for a spay or a highland. It's just it's uh, it's a journey. Me, I, I think that I've gained a, a deeper appreciation for the caskings. Oh, some yeah. of the, the older whiskeys um, and the cask strength. The cask strength, The, the definitely. flavor profiles that that brings out. But the ABV. Some of the weird caskings that they do, you know, if it's a red wine cask or a soft turns cask or something like that, the, the flavors that pull into the whiskey I, I find interesting. Well, the cask strength you mentioned, so, you know, you were on a year ago, 18 months ago. We had, you know, Cato. Hoagie, Keith Peterson, who, by the way, made a comment not to. I, 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 I haven't seen the guy yeah, forever. He finally commented. Throw a comment. We got to go on and answer that. I haven't seen him forever. But, um, and they were all high on the ABV, you know, the 48. Yeah. Hoagie, Hoagie did drink nothing below 48. Right. And, okay. and I was just like, okay, whatever. But now here I am going, God, you know, I really enjoy the higher ABVs. They just, there's a little bubble in the beard. They, they give, uh, I think you get more of the real whiskey flavor out of it. You know I, what the what they intend. now, mind you, the, if it gets into a really old whiskey, it's going to be a lower ABV, right? Depends. It depends on where they cask it. Yeah. Yeah. So big shout out to uh, Scott from the Test Dummies is on in uh, the Welcome. Malted Man Cave as nice. well. Hey, what's going on, Man Cave? <laughs> Oh man, we've chatted with him on. We, we got a busy week, right? Week. Hey, speaking so, thinking that Scott, don't forget to to join us. But I want to test this out when you get. A chance. Yeah, we need to do a test run with you, Scott. If you could dial in, maybe we could let uh, Mike, who's Mike Highfield. You guys all know. Usually, he's in, in, in behind this. Our bourbon guy. He's <laughs> working the mic. The Cubs man. Mr. Cubs. Mr. Cubs. He's working the the uh, the computer in the, the background. And hopefully, next week during the <laughs> <laughs> expo. He's going to be the one that switches the camera back and forth because we're afraid there's going to be too much background noise. Yeah, we're, we're going to test it out. So we want to see how so. some things work. So we're putting we'll him to work, out. and he, he may get some whiskey out of the deal. <laughs> but there may be something. I, I did. I ah. sent you the invoice. So check it I out. Did. John was going way back to a video. Remember that comparison video we did of the Bowmore? Bowmore Darkest. With yeah. the uh, Lagerville and LaFroy. You remember that comparison? It was in your basement, I believe. Yes, yep. it was. And, uh, it's a beautiful it was bottle. Cool. It is a good bottle. It's still one of your favorites, isn't it? It is. Uh, it is. It, I'm learning though. It is a little bit unbalanced in that you get the smoke and the sweet, and it doesn't marry as well as some of the other ones we've had recently. But that was the first bottle at a whiskey expo that I tasted, tasted a sip of that, and we're like, "Wow!" You, you know, it's, it's just one of those ones you know mm -hmm. when you've tasted it. I really want you've hidden greatness, and that was a greatness. 
That was a great one. I, and it's always fun. And you know what? It's coming. It, it's weird as you you have a scotch like that, and then you taste other scotches, and you find other things that maybe you like better, or or is you know your your palate changes, and then uh, you know you you taste that one again, and it's not quite the same. You know that's okay, I mean, which I mean, is fine. It's I mean, like your first palate, love, you know. Your you, palate is going to change, change. Yeah. you know, but. Yeah. But that's you still okay. go back to your yearbook and look at that picture and punch a clown, right? <laughs> uh, wait a minute. Where are we going? Wait a minute. I mean, have you had already? <laughs> I mean, it's not even, has it been 30 minutes? No, I think barely 30, 30, 30, 30 minutes and wheels yeah, are starting to come I off say? the mark. Quick hitter. <laughs> Quick hitter. <laughs> Over here. Well, you got a whole family in the house. You got to be uh, fast. You know what it means? Squeeze the bee. <laughs> Squeeze the bee. Oh, oh my God! Mm. Uh, that's funny. This stuff. is nice though. I can't drink really this whole good. bottle. I'm not switching something else. Yeah, I know. I, and we got to save. I mean, savor it a little I mean, bit. I can totally food. drink this whole bottle. But I tell you, good. every time I take a good mouthful, I, just, I literally start. I want to chew on it. It's just there's mm. so Man, much get flavor. Get that. Oh, he's got to take off, guys. What you saying? All right. Take care, guys. Got to get some more sleep before work. Now that's pretty. Late. We feel you. Right. <laughs> so next Friday, Hogan, don't forget about us. Hey, and we, Hogan, we know we owe you a Skype call sometime in the future. It'll happen, my friend. It's just we, yep. it's By hard way, to get us four together we, as it did is. Did we get the samples out, Tim? Are they? Yeah, out? they're out. Yep. Hogan, you should be getting get that, bud. Yet? No, they, they just went out Saturday. He should have them probably in a week or so. Okay. So they are literally somewhere between the you and salsa. Is the salsa is on the way. Sending some salsa. <laughs> the salsa yeah, has been shipped. Somebody cutting that box open, wondering what the hell this stuff is. <laughs> Well, it says that it you, says salsa, but what, it doesn't look like you, salsa. You got to fill out this custom form, and it says glass jars. Well, there's glass jars in there. Oh, what is your scotch for uh -oh. love? I hear somebody. Uh oh, huh? I, I, I don't hear anybody. I don't know about you. Salsa, but it's not like salsa. You got to fill out this custom. Oh, is somebody on? Is he on? Yeah. Sure. Scotch. So scotch first Way love. Behind. Oh, there he is. I can see him on there. I can't hear him yet. You talk. Say something there, Scott. I don't know about you. That is very salsa. No, it doesn't go through that. Is yeah, I'm here. So I can hear the other ear. Try the other ear. Is it the other ear? We're hearing the, the, the audio. Oh, I hear him now. Yeah, you guys. You need, you need an ear. There's an echo. Am I causing that? Yeah, you need an ear, please. Is it the other ear? Oh, that's the kid. He is doing it. But before we keep going, yeah, we're looking through this. Check out everyone's comments. There's an echo. Am I causing that? Yeah, you need an ear, please. Hmm. Did well, this work out yet? <laughs> no, we're. we're so so we we yeah, I think it's his end, actually. I think it's coming through his Yeti mic from his speakers. So, can we type that in? He's got it. So, what was the question? That's why he's fixing so, that? What is your scotch first love? What is your scotch first love? So, I mean, what got you into Ball, this? Ball, 14. Really? That was my first love. I mean, I liked it. I liked I was interested with McAllen 12, obviously. Yeah, and that's a few I, things. But 14, man, that really, like, oh, my God, that really got me excited about scotch. The rum cask. Really? So, I, I that's just it. I guess I dated a lot. <laughs> I, I loved Johnny Walker Black. And, Is that and, why you're a scotch whore? And nah. I'm, you know, I love the black, and then I like the swing, and then I love yeah. the blue. But I think my first, like, like love would probably be a lot of 116. I mean, honestly, that's I just – good. Man, I just love that girl. So, that was probably – that Bomar 15 Darkest was probably the one that struck me as, like, Oh my gosh, this is so much better than things you I've were tasted. very excited about yeah. that one. I mean, I had lots of good girlfriends, a lot, and I still like them. Johnny Walker Black still good. But Johnny Walker Black was was the first. That, that's was, the that was my first date. That's the booty call bottle. <laughs> <laughs> hey, baby, can I come over? <laughs> Hell yeah, you can. <laughs> so we went from love to booty call. My my, my first date was with Johnny Walker Black. <laughs> so my first love. I don't know that I can say a first love per se, but I will say that the first time that I started drinking scotch that I knew that I was going to enjoy scotch, uh, I had a, a good friend when I was in school who was from Madrid, and he would pick me up to go to class every day, and every day before class, we would stop at a bar and have a glass of Glenfiddich 12, because that was his preschool deal, you know what I mean? Had to have a glass of scotch before we went into into school. And, West Lafayette? Uh, no, 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 no. This was at uh, <laughs> when I was going to culinary school. Now I was oh. 
That was grade school. <laughs> but, uh, grade school. It was a fun experience because, I mean, that was what he was used to. Was, you, know, you go, you have a class. And that's part it's like a social experience. And so for me, that was kind of a new thing was, you know, you're drinking to enjoy the drink and not just to get fucked up, I guess. Yeah. And then, so that was a, it was a neat experience, I guess. But uh, first scotch that I really, really loved. You know what? Uh, the, the scotch that I had that that's I could question. say just kind of blew me away <laughs> was the Ben Reek Solstice. Mm. That scotch was good stuff. unexpectedly caught you definitely off guard right yeah. i mean it was it, that one a friend had, uh, and all of a sudden she to you and it was like holy moly that one that one <laughs> was told about yeah I, I really enjoyed that one and it wasn't an expensive scotch but the casking was different just you know mm-hmm. it's like seeing a redhead across that, the room that was a good <laughs> that was a good dream so there you go nice call out tom on the what, uh, wasn't, a, problem, wasn't a booty call scotch but. no <laughs> And Lisa's Drew gets the win. I don't get what did he say they got the win. I think it, maybe because I was just quick. I don't know. That was a good comment. I was on sixteen. Was I, there was not. All right, so Scott's back. Yes. Scott's back. Oh, there he is. Like, all right, keep yeah. talking. <laughs> we got you now. Oh, this. Is no, I had um, when I I was watching the video, and then I clicked on your link that you'd sent me, which I didn't see. So when I clicked on it, it opened up a second window. So the oh, echo no. was the first window that was still open. So as soon as I realized that. It's fixed. All right. So yeah. Mike, can you hear him as well? I can He's hear quiet him, to but, me. But what? There's a lag in between what's going on, but I see. Well, that's okay. Well, yeah, yeah, that's like, that's going to be a delay for that. <laughs> so we're, we're getting real time. Well, how much? Real time. Yeah. How much well, delay? There's, Maybe there's not a delay in the audio. Fifteen or so, us. not for us. No My laptop, it's instantaneous. Yeah, I'm also looking at. Don't it. look at the TV. Don't look at the TV. Oh yeah. yeah. So okay. yeah, he's looking at. So what, what's the Mike, can you hit the, the the audio up speaker, uh, the volume? But while we're talking, all the way up. I, I answer the question. What was your first Scotch love? That's, I was trying to think of that, man. I don't know. That's that's a tough one. Um, good question though. So who gave that question? Edwin. Uh, Everyone, Everyone, yeah, good. All right. What I mean, I'm going, I'm going way back, almost to that high school, you know, album that you were talking (laughs) about. (laughs) You know, (laughs) high school album. Are you rocking the eight track? (laughs) Barry Manilow. Man, you know, you the know. scary thing is, I'm sort of my age, but I actually remember having Pink Floyd A track jamming going up to Knightstown. <laughs> I saw all that. That's sad. Well, the first, the first scotch that I really started buying, <laughs> what got me into scotch was Johnny Walker Black, but that <laughs> led me into really for quite a while. I drank Glenlivet 12 all the time. I, I, okay. I bought a lot of Glenlivet 12 in the day. Hmm. Yeah, um, but not. I haven't bought that now for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got a few. Why not? Things, yeah. <laughs> He's like, she gave me an STD. <laughs> and I, <laughs> First love, now you're one. Yeah, dogs a bullet. Give me an STD. <laughs> you know, but honestly, probably, uh, and I picked it up today. But the Macallan Twelve is damn good. But the uh, the cast strength Macallan the Classic Cut just showed up here. Uh, oh. Cracked the seal on that today, and it's a uh, superb. Really? Yes. You know uh, that's good to hear. I think uh, that makes me want to. That's my next McKellen bottle, and because I, I need to be reinvented the McKellen. I just yeah, want, I, I want to do a ball. Too. I mean, we got high on it for a while, guys, and we we killed probably three or four bottles amongst the four of us. Yeah. And it was awesome. And then we got into this really serious and came back to the McKellen Twelve, and it it wasn't. When mm-hmm. I remember, so but then I kind of just good, didn't though. give them the, the fair yeah. shake anymore. And and you know, talking to you, Scott, over the last couple months about it, you know, I know you're a big uh, McKellen lover, and and so it's uh, we got I got to give them me personally. Not I'm, not I'm speaking for you guys, but I got to give them a fair, a better shake. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna try that one. I'll, I'll drink whatever you bring to the bar. Just <laughs> <laughs> pour out, right? <laughs> I'm gonna show you. So I got I got a call out a comment from John. He just talked about that he. Uh, Loves the Avalor 12. Well, didn't we have some of that? That was the first time tonight, right? Yeah. yeah. We just had a bottle. We, we just cracked that up tonight. That was Avalor Feldy. That was Avalor Feldy. Yeah, different. Okay. The Avalor is good. Yeah, I like Avalor Whis- Whiskey Dicks is on. Yes, yeah, nice. Hey, what's up, Whiskey Dick? So, yeah, have you had the Avalor Feldy 12, Scott? My wife picked it up at a, a, a 
store not too long ago for us and so we were looking for something to warm up with tonight and we haven't reviewed it yet but we decided to start with that it's so. light it's sweet there's a uh, there's a couple different there's a the one we had there a couple couple different Avalauer 12s and the one we had was i think the double cask well was not Avalauer, Aberfeldy. oh Aberfeldy. yeah um we've had the Aberfeldy 12 yeah i mean it's it, it was it's okay it's good yeah i i mean we did like I said, wife was at uh, at Meyer grocery store and they had a sale, and she's like, "Is there anything you need from here?" And, and so I, I quickly got on the phone. Yeah, and I'm like, gotcha. "Yeah, I need that." And so she brought it home. So we were looking for something to start up, uh, you know, a little warm up scotch tonight, and we just started that. And I thought it had a, a pretty heavy chocolate coffee, coffee flavor, but um, it, it was good. It was all right for I think it was thirty five or forty bucks. It's not. It's I mean, pretty good price for that. You know? yeah, it, yeah, for the yeah. price, it's not bad. I don't know. So, um, Scott, you know, we, <laughs> I wanted to watch your review. I haven't a chance to rewatch it yet, but we were working, Andrew and I were working in, in Mark's basement, changing in water. In here. Oh, yeah. Uh, but how was that winter, man? Was that pretty good? The winter chance storm. To, yeah, the winter storm. I wish I had more of it to get the <laughs> What? You already went through a whole bottle? <laughs> no, we that. just had a sample. I mean, we had oh. maybe an ounce a piece. Oh, yeah, it really cool. wasn't enough. You know, comparatively, um, I think it was real close to the Balvini 21 Portwood. Mm. Um, Did you do that live? Yeah. yeah. Trooper. Yeah, okay, I was, I was watching. I was watching, right. I was watching that one. Yeah. Yeah. I was on there. Yeah. I mean, it's good. Um, but, you know, the uh, and maybe the 21 Portwood. Uh, the port is a little bit heavier finish, I think, and probably comes through even a little bit more than the ice wine finish of the Glenfiddich. It was still good, but I just I would like some more to get <laughs> into it a little bit deeper. Interesting. Yeah. I don't know if we've ever had an ice wine finish. Is there Never. any other ice fi wine Never finishes out that. there? I don't know if there are. The know. only other one I know of, and we'd had a sample of it as well a while back, was a Glen Britton, B-R-E-T-O-N, um, <laughs> finished it. And I think it was a 14-year finished in ice wine. Cast. Uh, I can't say I've ever even heard of that. No. You know what it's going to be close to? Why it's soft turns. That's kind of what I think uh, it would be. Uh, could, some it could be. Soft turns and so, Scott, how do you, uh, how's the audio on your end from us? Is the, the Yeti mic fine? Great. Great. Now, I'll tell you what we learned, though, with the with the Blue Yeti mic. Put a cushion underneath it. It's picking up your phone's vibrating and everything, or if, even if you hit the table. Oh, yeah. It's picking oh, up it. So I've got, a, uh, I've got a coaster and a little cloth deal that I've got underneath mine just as it work as insulation. Smart. Yeah. Good. If yeah. you've got it sitting on a hard surface. We and do. it is. So, it's yeah, the barrel. We'll that. So the question, yeah. another question for you. You can hear Mike talking over here, too? I have heard him, yes. Yeah. Hey, say something, Mike. Got, don't no, don't talk well because that's going to be a now. problem. Well, we're, we're, so our, our curiosity here, and we, and we may might have uh, Mike start doing this manually. Is we don't know how how loud it's going to be in there. I mean, people are going to be talking. We're going to be kind of in the corner a little bit, so we're we're curious to see how the Google Hangouts auto switches or not based yeah. on crowd noise. So we make it to a point where it's going to be a little kind of you know cumbersome for Mike, but he he may have to manually switch back and forth between the players. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know how it will do. Now we used uh with the 12 hours of boom, we used this blue yeti outside the last episode. We were outside around a uh, fire pit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it worked that. it worked real great out there. But the problem is now you can adjust there's a gain adjustment sure. that will allow for some of that exterior noise, but the the farther you turn that down to eliminate the exterior noise, the closer you're going to have to be for it to pick you up. Right. Yeah, we're probably gonna have to do that there because it's gonna be loud. Well, we need to play with that before we go live anyway. We're gonna be set up by three thirty. The show doesn't start till five, so we now there is some uh, the. Uh, Can we turn the game down now and see? The dial on the back at the bottom, the bottom one, is kind of a directional allows so yeah. you can set right. it for like where it's the front of the mic or you know all around it stuff like that or even kind of a, a more narrow cone, so. Yeah, and I don't know how that works with it either. So is the is the microphone? I know you can't see us, but um, is the the microphone the front and back aligned with the buttons and knobs, or is it the sides of the? I mean, I didn't know if we need to turn it sideways or front to back. Well, so it, this is front. it was put to us the best ways to have it literally, uh, especially like the way you guys are sitting, have it straight up and down. And I've got it on. Um, we don't have it that way. Yeah. Second setting from the right. I'm not sure what it's called. 
Oh, well, okay. you have it. You have it. You've got it. We might have it backwards because I think this is probably the front. No, this is what on here. So that's one, two. The uh, where the light is is the front. Yeah. All right. So it shows that it's on. So we've got. So that, well, I just switched it to the second setting, so I'm not sure if that makes a difference or not. Now there's a the volume adjustment knob on the front. That's only for underneath it is a headphone jack. That yep. volume adjustment is only for the headphone jack. Oh, there's a headphone jack on this? Yeah, underneath huh. it on the bottom. Okay. Oh, okay. On, on the bottom of the microphone, not the stand. Yeah. Okay, so you can hear yourself if you wanted to. Yep. Gotcha. Well, we won't use that. We're we'll using laptops. So. But it might be good for uh, testing it out. Yeah. My bad idea. Well, that's actually a great idea because we could test out the. We can see how much uh, background noise we're getting. Plugging right. right into that. Okay, so we apologize for boring you guys, but this is stuff we're growing. Because <laughs> we're next trying to make Friday, it awesome next Friday. Yeah, we're obviously we're trying to we're, we're we're pretty excited about it. We're going through all these testing now to make sure we're trying to think through everything because it's going to be uh, it's going to be a lot of pressure. We actually had some really good uh, email banter back and forth with uh, some ambassadors. Yeah. So we're gonna have a we're gonna have a pretty good show. We're really excited about it. I mean, you guys are going to be on. Uh, Rob's going to be on. Uh, Roy's going to be on, and then. What yeah, guys? Three, four ambassadors. At least, no. at least three um, different brand ambassadors. It's gonna be great. Yep. Uh, who we're we looking at? Maybe yeah. five. Yeah. Five. We got a lot of people. Ooh, it's gonna yeah. be busy. Glenn, Glenn Morange is gonna be on. It's gonna be work. Uh, Dan, yeah. Good work. Dan, Dan Crawley. Yeah, he's gonna be on with us. Yeah, he does Glenn Morange <laughs> and uh, Ardbeg. Um, we'll be bourbon there. We've but got uh, people yeah. from Jura, well, Dalmore, we, and uh, Shackleton. Mm -hmm. and are we placing wagers on who will get drunk? And who will stay the Mark. most sober to handle the business end? <laughs> I'll be the most sober because he got to leave early. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, he'll yeah, win. He's gonna win that. He won't be out sure. here all night, but um, yeah, we could put bets on that. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think, can tell you if it's I think we all like know where our money's year. going towards. <laughs> I, I can I can tell you if it's like last year. Uh, Mark will be the the one that goes down first, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, hold on, guys. So Tom, Tom R. Is it too late? No, it's not too late. I, I think the tickets are still available, oh, yeah, yeah. guys. So I think the VIP VIPs are definitely out. available. If you guys, I mean, if you're in Chicago, it's three hours, dude. Come on down. We'd love to meet you and hang out with you. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, oh, we'll we'll be there. Are available anymore? You don't think so? I had a buddy at my work say he looked. We thought they were sold out. Oh, okay. We to well, check it out at buyingtable.com or oh, whatever right, it is right. from Indy and, and uh, check it out. Hopefully, you can make it. I'd love to see you there. Man. Yeah. <laughs> well, and so Whiskey had a great question, and, and that's something to note. Uh, this Whiskey Expo, yes, they've got scotch, they've got Irish whiskeys, they've got all of your classics as well, but they also do have some, uh, some new U.S. distilleries. They've got some young Japanese distilleries that are not like the big Yamazaki and Nika. They've got some other Japanese distilleries yeah, that are there. Four. Yeah. And uh, so that's kind of cool. They've got a lot, they've got some from Seattle. They've got some Northern California. They got some from the uh, East coast as well. So they're bringing in these up and coming distillers as well. So that's, that's good for the whole market. Yeah. That's crazy. It says you're getting wasted for sure. I don't know. Mark's, nah. Mark's, uh, are we getting up? Uh, VIP is good, sold but... out, but general admission is still available. Okay, so you can come down and, and hang out with us still. About me and you guys, I can hang. <laughs> we know you, you can say hang. you can hang, dude. That's I can hang issue. too. What are we drinking? Your favorite. That's not long row 18. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not long row 18. <laughs> That's my second time tonight. We're going to have to drink something, I uh, guess, no. right? I mean, I was killing to me. The bar to All find right, throw me some of that, you guys. And there's a there's a couple of a good bottles that aren't even open, and I just can't. I mean, we gotta reveal them before you open them, right? I mean, yep. well, <laughs> in the past, technically, you need to open them before <laughs> you, you reveal them. Before I'm, you I'm you saying we can't open. I don't know. How do you guys do that, Scott? What's your guys' protocol? Oh, they like flavor them. They taste them and spend a week with them before they get go. Right? You know, it kind of depends. Um, we like to have a couple of drams at least out of it and let it sit for a little bit. Like we got the McAllen edition number three though, before anybody else, our distributor and liquor store put it out. And we were like, man, we got to get that posted. Um, I do like, um, Aqua Vitae's Roy's the way his, his dumpster. He gives you a quick video, review, you know, right after he's finished the bottle. 
uh, and and that's great, but I don't think we all have that. Well, maybe you guys, you know, you guys go through bottles a little quicker. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> maybe you go through bottles. What are you trying to say? Wait yeah. a minute. That's <laughs> twice as many. You know, sometimes, though, I get a good bottle, and I don't want to drink it, right? I mean, I want to save it, you know, and you put it back, and, you know, you just pull it out on special occasions. So, yes. Um, generally, though, I like to have at least a couple grams and give it time to develop, you know, pour it in a glass and let it sit and give it some time when we first started we was on the air we'd pour it we'd crack it we'd pour it and drink it and we were done in 10 minutes and you know we were like hey that's that's not a good proper review we need to at least even look at ralphie you know he's got his notes done he's already done half of the bottle before he does his review <laughs> yeah right. he's made up some words for it now. yeah um, <laughs> i call him the paint sample now i know that <laughs> i saw that oh man you gotta admit that was a good time uh, Tom, if you go to vineandtable.com uh, and go to the events, you can uh, you can pull up the Whiskey Expo, and they've got tickets for sale on there. So it's it's actually pretty easy to get to and, and purchase. Yep. Yeah, Tom made a comment. Bart sleep, sleeps with a peep before he's bold enough to rate it. <laughs> that, thus, <laughs> thus the shirt. Right. Right. What, what was it? What's this thing? I enjoy uh, five, ten year old Pete. I, I enjoy ten year old Pete. <laughs> <laughs> it that never gets stuff. old, Scott. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Hey Marley, we got a special guest on tonight. Um, <laughs> Put the the dog. dogs out. Yeah, yeah. Um, they can see her, but that's good. What, what is Did that? you figure out what you're drinking yet? Scotch. I know. But what <laughs> you I, I figure, I figure that's what that's the one that gives you a headache. Don't Man, he's not gonna, gonna, gonna wake up tomorrow. No, I would not. That'd be fine. Did you, uh, somebody had, tell like said the list, you, then me, then Drew, and then Andrew. That seems fair. Actually, normally yeah, what happens is you and I get drunk first, but we stay up later. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you do. Yeah, we get drunk first and we're the one, we're the Energizer Bunny, still going. Yep. Yeah, I'm not going to kid. These guys can hang. I, I can't hang. <laughs> yeah, I, they, I tap they've, out. They've got Around, some strong livers, I'll tell you that. We've, we've gone on trips first, before. I'm like, guys, I'm done. I can't do anymore. <laughs> Oh gosh! Yep, that's a good time. So Look, our Facebook uh, post is out there, guys. Love to see some. You more only comments. got one on there. We got four comments. I'm, okay. I'm looking at it right now. Hey Scott, did you happen to ch uh, chat with Bart about next week? Christopher Warren, yeah, make it. I did. I let him know, and he's gonna try. Yes. Good deal. Oh. Good deal. That, that fire is uh, looking crazy. Look at that one, Leanne and Mark. They got a huge old fire I going in the background. I love that picture. Of those guys, man, that's awesome. The bonfire crazy in the background. Fire. I think that is a that's crazy amazing. fire. They're out in the middle of the swamp. You know what? That'd be a good place for a dummy con. Yeah, oh, maybe. The swamp? Louisiana? <laughs> Louisiana swamp? Yeah, we'll head down to Louisiana. What do you think, Scott? Dummy con, Louisiana. Be less expensive. You would not have to pay some fancy hotel. I love me some Creole Cajun food. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Bring, yeah. Me, bring me a tent and some uh, etouffee. Yeah. I don't know. We do need to do. We need to figure something about. I know it might I be mean, 2018 at this point, but we definitely we need to get um, something going, Scott. Even if it's just us yeah. being somewhere and and you know if anybody's local wants to meet up, we need to do something. Well, I don't know. Columbia, I was Missouri. To Scott and and he said you know um, we could go St. Troopers Louis. down in Atlanta, and Atlanta's a pretty big hub for stuff that's going on. So I. We'll could figure you, it out. How far is St. Louis from you? Four hours? Uh, it's about six, I think, five or six. Yeah, it's it's four and a half for us. So we'll, I'd be in the middle. That's about halfway. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure they have good I got, bars. I got family there. So they got, they got some out. good bars in, in St. Louis. Yeah. yeah Maybe. We could tear up some stuff there. Right? I, got, I got some good places <laughs> we can go to hang out. So. I don't know. You I know, know you're down with it. Really good. I guess. You don't want to go to East St. Louis. Scott but... and Bart being cops. With well, <laughs> we're, we're all up for it. Go uh, definitely 2018. Let's start looking and we can yeah. start going. I think you're right. 2018 yeah. at this point. Some, some things that we've got to consider, though, is most hotels have liquor contracts with local uh, distributors or local bars per se yeah so a lot of times hotels and motels won't let you have open liquor events because they have to provide the liquor for you yeah that's true so it'll come down to finding then an, an outside venue you know a convention hall or whatever to be able to host stuff mm. in possibly i mean something that we may have to you know any any city or any hotel we go to that's something we'll have to address and look at 
Well, well I, there's always a bunch of cheap red eye flights to Vegas, and Vegas doesn't have those kind of limits. <laughs> <laughs> Vegas doesn't care. You are right about that. Vegas does not care. <laughs> yeah, Subsidized flights, too. You can't beat that. We'd be in all kinds of trouble, man. I used to go to Vegas once a month. Mm. And it got quiet. Got to bail. See you next week. See, see what's coming in. Kato's got to go. Uh, see you, Kato. Right, Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. Yes, sir. Next Friday. Yeah, speaking of which, if you guys are looking for us next Thursday, not going to find yeah, us. Oh, yeah, good point. We're not doing point. Thursday because we're, we're going to tear down and set up for that. So Yeah, instead of Thursday live, we're moving it to Friday. So I don't know if we need to – how else do we put an announcement out for everybody to know that? Well, we use community. We just did. <laughs> we just now <laughs> on community. Right now. So. Okay. How many? Right. 27? Nice. All right. So all 27 don't see us next Thursday. Yep. We'll be on, on Friday for four hours. Yeah. And so well, uh, I'm, we, I kind of put an agenda together for that already. And um, we're going to start. The show starts at 5. Uh, that's what time the expo opens. And it runs from 5 to 9. Now, the first hour and a half, I think it is, guys. Yep. The yeah. first hour and a half is VIP. Uh, and that's for people that paid for the VIP section, which there's only certain tables that are open during the VIP. And they're pouring – uh, they're high end, they're higher end stuff. So, um, we did it the VIP last year and it was worth it. Wow. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, um, we got into some Different really food. good liquor, but, uh, yeah. yeah. Anyway, we're starting at five where our first 15 minutes, I think is, is going to be kind of general opening things up, making sure technicalities are taken care of. We're going to have Dennis Lynch, the uh, manager that's invited us to do this there. Um, and then we're going to hit the ground running. Um, we've got our first guest is going to be Aquavite from Scotland. Uh, he's going to log on from I Glasgow and Great join guy. us for 30 minutes. Yep. Um, we're going to do it in different breaks. Explain that, what, what I mean by that. Why are for we different... not wearing kilts? Well, well <laughs> I'm thinking about wearing the fabric as a kilt, but I just don't oh, think man, the guys took that. Did we get the fabric it? today? Yeah. Is it here? Yeah, I've got it. Is it, Go in, your, is it in your building? Fabric. It's upstairs. It's still in the box. I haven't taken it out of the box. Oh, I got wow. home and hit the man. ground running, man. See, we had to get all I, this stuff set up. The guys want me to take a picture of the <clears> that we have it. <laughs> we'll do it after the show. <laughs> but, yes, we have uh, the fabric. So going back to your point, so what we're going to do is, uh, to be honest, we were kind of copying Scott and the dummies, and we're trying to it works use, use their, your scheme because it made sense. We're going to do 45-minute segments of live. Right. So we're going to have 15 minutes in between uh, just to set up, <laughs> recalibrate, uh to get to other people Leanne. on, etc. So, what's that? <laughs> Leanne said they can buy liquor at Walgreens in Louisiana. They can find a place for us to drink. <laughs> nice. All right. It's like a bunch of squirrels. So let's go yes, back. Sir. We got some comments to talk about, guys. So Tom, you still can't find it. So listen, just do a Google search for Vine and Table, Indiana, right? And then you'll come up with a website and go to events. I think even on their homepage, it says yeah, it's all it's all so you'll, you'll find it. Events are Vine on the top. and Table, yeah. Indiana. Okay? Yeah. Indianapolis yeah. Whiskey Festival. Yep. Whiskey Expo. We, we, that's exactly right. And then uh, Mr. So Bill, the Whiskey Dick, uh, asked, do we have any opinions on his upcoming Spayburn 15? I think he's going oh, to review on that. So we did, we've done that one, haven't we, guys? Which uh, one? 15? 15? I think we have. Which 15? Spayburn. 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 It's been a long time ago. What the what? I think what we did the, the 10. I think we did the 10. Did we do 10? We did. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we don't have the, Okay, so there you go. No opinion. Nothing. Yeah. Nine. Nine. We're getting there. Oh, you want to try some of that? Oh. What else we got going on? It's the hammer. This is this is what Sean So, so 45 oh, minute segments. We got schedule and we'll go. Sean yeah. calls yeah. this so the hammer justice. I don't know yeah. about justice. Um, <laughs> the hammer. So as far as our schedule goes for Vine and Table, we've got – Four or five different ambassadors oh, that uh, we've been oh, we've, that have been gracious enough to offer their uh, their time to us during the expo. So I haven't been able to get them all scheduled yet. Hopefully, in the next day or two, we'll have it all finalized out. Um, but we've we've got some good people coming in. Yeah, um, we've got some people that are doing some smaller independent stuff. We've got some people that you know, uh, Dalmore, Jura, Shackleburn, things like that. Uh, so I, I think that it's going to be Shackleton. So it's going to be interesting um, talking to some of these guys to see what their opinions are on some things, um, what they see coming up, uh, and, and you know, just being in a room full of people that love whiskey is always fun. Yeah. Right. So Scott, um, 
I sent you that email earlier today and I told you, the, gave you the names of the folks that um, Dennis has set us up to interview with. I need to give you some more detail around that because some of these people are, um, they're, they're involved in companies or importers that bring in various labels. So I didn't give you the labels that they're bringing in and that, that's kind of important. Maybe you're interested in a, a particular label. So I, I've got some more information. I'll get that to you tomorrow. And okay. I, um, Roy, uh, Rob already kicked back and said that he was interested in a particular dram that oh, yeah. he saw on the list uh, because he's getting ready to put, uh, publish a review on that. So it would be kind of Which cool for him. might be fun to just walk down because that's not one of the people that we're going to talk to. So right. I just go down and hit, hit him up Maybe at the we table walk and down see what's there. up. Yeah. Grab a dram from them, see if they want to come down and get on camera and talk to, you know, Whiskey yep. and Six. And we may be doing a combination, too, of, like, uh, having, like, for example, Scott Scott and uh, Bart from Test Dummies on and an ambassador at the same time. We're not really sure yet. Depends on the timetable and the ambassadors and what we got going on. So it, it may be kind of juggling a little bit as far as timing and everything, but yeah. uh, we're we <laughs> We got a jam-packed show coming up. We do, and I'm curious, Scott. Have you had a chance to look at the list of uh, that I sent you guys? I, it's really, it's actually long. I, I gotta admit, you guys, <laughs> when when Dennis sent me the list in in Gmail, when you open up the email, it's so long that it only shows like the first so many lines. You have to click more. Mm -hmm. And I, I looked at the list, and I'm like, really? That's, that's it. it. It's a that, lot there. I'm like, actually, that's, you click that's more, all there is. A lot. And I realized there was a more button. I clicked the more button. I'm like, oh, I feel better. <laughs> <laughs> I did see though that you had the whiskey Raj Raj Saberwall on there from right with Glass Revolution Imports. They do um, Amru uh, wh uh, English Whiskey Company. Yep. We had him on a live stream a while back. He's great. Awesome. So that's that makes me feel even better because there's a tie there now already. Right off the bat, we're able to, to pull this full circle. Yeah. Right. You might be our combo. Mm -hmm. By the way, Telex, we're Eastern, just FYI. Yep. Okay. Cool. Should be so, a fun show. Yeah, it, it's gonna be a fun yeah, show. A lot of stuff gonna go on, that's for sure. But guys, we've got five minutes. Less yeah. than five minutes. What, so well, it's going quick. What's going on? What do we need to talk about in five minutes, everybody? Um uh, I think we've covered most of I it. Know. I don't know anything else. We didn't do whiskey in the news. I, I got we didn't do trivia. We didn't do trivia tonight. Have whiskey in the news or whiskey? I was more concerned about getting this set up than I was. Yeah, the else, whiskey so. in the news. Whiskey in the news. What do we have? Is the, the, the pappy thief? The pappy thief has pleaded guilty. Has pleaded guilty. Really? Yes. And so what is he going to get for that? Do we have a sentencing on that? Um, there right now, what I read, there was a toss up between destroying it. Oh. And making him drink it. <laughs> the whole, the whole thing. Thing. I'm going to steal me uh, some freaking gargle. Bobby gargle. And <laughs> <laughs> well, considering it was a number of different people, that, right? But he uh, he pleaded guilty. There. Um, go ahead, Scott. Well, I was going to say I'm going to hazard a guess. They're going to have to destroy all that whiskey. I that's, think you're right. That's what I was yeah. kind of getting through the reading. Why? What, one of the I mean, other... Explain that to me. Why Why destroy it? There's, there's been no control over it since it's left right. the distillery, and they won't be able to say that it's – that's they, what they it is. It could be adulterated. They have no, they've lost yeah. chain of custody. I, yeah. I have a uh, – And when you're – A friend of mine, shall we say, that uh, my, my brother's an attorney, and he works for a railroad. And if, if they had – they actually had a car jump off the track just a little bit, and it was loaded with BMWs, and he had to drive up by Chicago and watch them destroy every single one. Off Are the you train. kidding me? Nope. Because, what? well, it's a it's a liability thing. So just because it's that train jumped off the track, if something happens to that car, they can claim that it was because of that. So so wow. BMW just so for transportation companies, that's a, that's a hard fast rule. If anything happens, they destroy it. And take, they and they the take the insurance, them. and the insurance pays for it. So yes. this is going to be destroyed. Dundee. So it's probably going to be destroyed. I you know, guarantee that they destroy it. And, and you know, they I don't know if it's been adulterated. Who's, got? <laughs> who's, who, who's going to put a brand on it? I mean, who's going to put their brand on that when some guy's had it in his truck for a yeah, month? Brand on well, it. and the thing is, some of it though was was still in the cask. I mean, it's a wood yeah. cask that was mm -hmm. taken, and when they recovered it or it was found, it was like in the backyard by a shed. <laughs> a yeah. barrel of whiskey just sitting there. <laughs> exactly. So, so you go to all the That's trouble hilarious. to steal it, you just throw it in your backpack. Right. <laughs> <laughs> there may be a couple of drams out of it, but you know. <laughs> yeah. Whatever, man. Yeah. 
If I was one of those cops, I'd have turned all two gallons of that whiskey in. <laughs> <laughs> an entire cast, an entire cast has two gallons it left in it. Yeah, I don't know. Sure. That's all that was there, you know. <laughs> they must have drank a lot of it. Yeah, damn angels really like their whiskey. <laughs> yeah, they, they didn't get. It. I mean, so it, it takes it from like grand theft to just a, a petty petty that. larceny, right? I gotta say, I like the way Scott confiscates stuff. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> It's like money. the old saying, what do you do if you find a million dollars? I'd turn all $10,000 of that money <laughs> in. <laughs> That's exactly right. Wheelhouse to that one. Wheelhouse. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why I get a headache after I drink all this. <laughs> oh, gosh. There was a question. This, right. is, this is batch 47. So by the all right, way. let's wrap this up, guys. Right. Scott, thanks hey, for joining us. I appreciate Montreal, the, the test with us. Um, we'll guys, thanks for joining Friday. us. We'll see you next, next Friday night, right? Friday night. Yeah, next Friday, guys. So keep an eye out for that. We still have a review that we're going to publish on Monday. Yep. We're still good for that. Yep. Um, but uh, no next, review this coming Thursday, next Thursday, but Friday we'll do the live for four hours. So yep. please come and attend. Uh, hopefully, uh, Scott, you guys, everybody else, to make sure you let everybody know. But uh, I, I would love to see a ton of people joining us and, and yeah. checking it out. It's going to be a we'll really have to blow cool it up. Event. We'll have to blow it up we're for media, up social media. The fabric. Um, Aquavite, Rob, Scott chest dummies. Yep. I, I mean, this is it's gonna be big. We're gonna Any help we can get the, the bigger the better. I would love to see it. Right. It's a so, big thing for us. So. I think it'll be one of those things that we wish went on for like seven it's gonna or eight go hours. Like this. It did it's last year. Like last year we're like, oh it's done. Well, Mark was done. <laughs> <right>. Well, he <laughs> I was done. done. I was just getting started. You, was... you were pretty excited. So uh yeah, but it, it's gonna be great. So I hope to see everybody next Friday. Hopefully all the technology works as well as it did tonight, right? I agree. Cheers, I guys. Good, guys. Thanks for joining. Appreciate Thanks, it, guys. Everybody. Have Be a great night. Down, great uh, weekend. Louisiana, Leanne, Mark. Slaunch it. Slaunch, Scott. Hey, thanks, Scott. I appreciate you jumping on. Absolutely. All right.